getting a nose job. My nose is broken and I'm getting it fixed. So I'm just gonna show the before and after. Here is my nose now. septum is like totally deviated it like curves so it makes breathing out of this side really difficult so I'm getting a rhinoplasty septoplasty which is like the cartilage in the middle is gonna like get straightened I, um, I also am getting turbinate surgery as well which is um, it's like this section it's like enlarged and like broken and droopy like if you feel the cartilage there's like no support I don't know, when I touch my friend, other friends' noses, like, it just feels different. So, what's gonna happen is he's gonna shave my, um, he's gonna take the hump down a little bit, um, he's gonna raise the tip a tiny bit, bring up my columella, which is this thing. Bring up the columella, he's gonna put a piece of cartilage in both sides of my nose. See how you can see it goes up here that'll try to make it have like a straighter appearance because my nose is broken and like shifted one nostril is higher than the other which can't be changed this side is worse than the other so yeah and he's gonna try and fill this gap um so basically when you cut the bone it becomes thicker so you, you know it's like a triangle so if you cut this off it's gonna that's now gonna be the width so when he takes that down, that will get like kind of filled and he said he'll try not to make it too thick and he's going to be breaking these two bones to go inwards because mine do come out quite a bit. You can like, it's just really broad. I'm going to try and straighten it and then bring these in. That's the plan. Be oh my gosh, I can't wait to breathe it. <gasps> and I can't wait to look cute too. So the first one I'm going to show you is my left side. Then notice how, I'll zoom in, see how like there's a lot of action going on down the bottom. Bringing that little bit of cartilage down will be able to help that. So this is the before, this is the after. So you can see here if you look down to my lip, I'll show you the before. He's going to bring the skin in because it comes out too far. See? Before, after. And then he's going to bring the cartilage down just a little bit on my nostrils. So my front is like this. You can see if I zoom in that um, you can see that my face isn't symmetrical. But this is what he came up with. See you tomorrow. I've just put that on here on the side, it's like the tiniest bit because I don't want to make my face oily and do something to this so I just put it up here. I don't even know if I'll get a bruise around there. Um, I thought I would be a lot worse but I think it'll be worse tomorrow. Apparently the bruising gets, it gets, it's worse on day two. So.
day four and uh it's really hard to talk i don't know how people in other like videos are talking but um it's really hard my nose looks kind of wonky it looked like that on the first day i just didn't want to talk about it but i mean i'm not too worried um, I'm not gonna judge anything until six weeks. That's what I've decided. So it's good. I'm not like emotionally like attached. Um, or worrying. But I mean, it does look a little bit off. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. See, my bruises are just getting more yellow. It's so weird, like, I never even got, like, any extreme black. I just got a bit of black bruising on the inside. Which is kind of good. You know, my nostrils look kind of uneven, but... Une like, the cast is more up on this side, and it's more down on this side. Maybe it's because he had to hold the cartilage down on one side. I just have to literally wait until I see him. I don't know, I really wish he came out to see me after my surgery. I just woke up and the nurses were there and I was like there for like two, three hours and he never came out. I was like, oh, okay. I don't know. Comment below if like your surgeon saw you. It would have been nice to just hear like everything went the way it was supposed to go. Like, I don't, but I didn't get that. <laughs> This morning I woke up, my mouth, my mouth was so dry that my tongue was like a cat's tongue. I don't feel too bad though. I think I'm starting to feel a little bit better. A few days before my surgery, like two days before my surgery, this happened. We had a hailstorm. So I could not drive my car to the appointment. <laughs> so because of that, <laughs> um, because of that, I can't drive my car. So, um, and my mum ended up having to work on the day I was supposed to have my checkup. Instead of getting my cast off, instead of getting my cast off at seven days, which would be the Wednesday tomorrow, I have to wait a whole another six days, Tuesday next week, to take the cast off. So instead of like the usual one week reveal, it'll be two weeks. Like, oh yeah, last night I got so sick i was like oh my gosh all these youtubers are talking about vomiting and getting sick i haven't got any of that last night i felt so nauseous the whole time i was like i'm not gonna vomit like just being strong and uh yeah i felt so sick all last night and then this morning you girl yeah, your girl had an explosive time, let's just say that. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know if that's like TMI, but it's reality, so... Deal with it. Oh my god. Yo, it's so hard to just talk. Because you can't breathe throughout your nose in between words. So you're like, starting to feel normal again. And then you just like... Go all... Oh my god, I'm getting like, I, I can't be outside for too long. It makes me feel weird. It's okay. I... In life, we... Sorry, this is gonna get a bit deep, but... In life, sometimes we tell ourselves lies so that we think what we're doing is okay to make ourselves feel better. Like, um... It's okay that I didn't check the date on that milk that I knew was there for a week. This guy is good for me. Or, it's okay to leave my hair another night without washing it. So I'm going to wash my hair. 
and I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it because I was supposed to have my cost taken off tomorrow, but I gotta wait another week. I'll figure it out and I'll tell you how I do it. I'm really worried. Look, it's like the cost is more down on this side than that side. See, there's a space. Why is there like a gap there and they're not there? I haven't bumped it. I haven't wet it. I haven't barely made any face expressions. Maybe because the swelling is going down. Hey guys. I called the office this morning and I sent a photo of one of the, the clips from yesterday when I was in the bathroom and uh, she did say that it's probably just the difference of the swelling and that if, if the cast doesn't feel loose then it's probably fine and I asked her if that was normal for my nostril to be like that and she said yeah like sometimes just one side swells more than the other I, don't, I just really think keeping this stuff in it is important because there might be someone out there with a cast that, you know, with swelling like this. And I haven't seen anyone on YouTube show, really zoom up on the swelling process and how it affects the cast and does that affect the nose. If you end up going through the same thing, then, you know, hopefully this can bring ease to you watching my process. And I said, I it feels like it's pushing down on me. Like I feel like it's like flattening my bones. And she said, no, it's normal. It's just the pressure from the swelling. Like, yeah. So I just, and I don't know. I feel like I'm collecting dust up there or something. So I'm just like completely breathing through my mouth the whole day. I can't even like sit up like this. Otherwise I get a horrible migraine. So like this all day. Just like with my head up and this is how I like go on my laptop when I look at the light it just hurts so much I can barely even look at my laptop like I'm, I'm just in a real state of doing nothing and it sucks that I have to be like this for another week but I am making a body modification um, and as long as everything is okay well then it's okay so I don't really want to talk about it for the next few days Otherwise, I'll get emotional, and I told myself I'm not going to get emotional. Each day you're, of recovery, you're kind of just waiting for the day to end. So yeah, I just wanted to give like a little truthful update. Uh, and yeah, look at the bruising. She's like going down. My skin is so fucking disgusting. I mean, I know I can see that it's leaning off that side, but I mean like. It's pretty straight, but I just hope my nostril isn't going to be stuck like that. I really hope my nostril isn't going to look like that for the rest of my life. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, my car got fixed today. I feel like that's all, all I have to say. Um, I feel a lot better. I guess I'll see you tomorrow when I get my cast off. Neither of us expected this. I thought I would be able to film this without the cast on. But I went in this morning, I woke up really, really anxious. I saw the nurse and she removed my cast. She, oh my gosh, basically she just cracks it off. She gets the sticky tape off, she cleans your face. And then oh, she puts this numbing spray up your nose and she puts like scissors up your nose, cuts your stitches, pulls out these 6.5 centimeter splints that were put into your airway to keep it structural. What's the weirdest feeling having something so deep yanked and just yanked out of you? And when she does it, you can't like breathe normally. You have to breathe really shallow out of your mouth. Like, <laughs> otherwise if you breathe in while it's in you, you can suck the splints in deeper. It's just then after a few minutes i felt so nauseous like i don't know what it is maybe it was the numbing spray like it just made me really it made me really really dizzy and um then she asked me if i was ready to see it and i said yes and i'm really happy i didn't record it because no one can prepare you for the way you see yourself and I'm like, oh, I'm just really surprised. She's like, a good surprise? And I was like, uh-huh. But I was like, I'll be honest, why is it all bumpy? I'll show the photos. 
wears it up so much and she's like oh like the tip will drop and basically there's a muscle that goes along here and it swells up so it looks like your nose is bumpy but it's not it'll come down and to be honest it looked quite straight but it's just really weird looking at my face different it's like a lot to take in um but i didn't even cry when i was in the room i'm literally staying so strong i thought i'd be like i know i'm so sensitive i, uh, I hear about post rhinoplasty depression like the first like two months like apparently it's really common to get depression but i refuse to get depression i refuse to get sad and if it means that i'm just not going to be looking at my face for a month i don't care two months i don't care i'm just not going to look at my swollen face because i'm sure if you've done your research you can see that Tons of people look completely different when they first get their cast off, so there's no point in me staring at my nose and getting obsessed. I mean, and I hope that I will be happy by the end of this video, even though I know by the end of this video it won't be even a judgeable outcome. It's just basically me documenting the process. And I'm sorry that I can't even fathom looking at my face right now to record. But yeah, um... The nurse was really nice and I'm gonna see my surgeon next week so yeah I will see you soon We are one month post up. I am definitely swollen today. <laughs> That's how I sneeze right now with my mouth open. Actually, I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. Okay, so I went in. My surgeon said everything looks all good. Um, I like how it looks from the sides. I like how it looks from this I mean this one this side is more smooth and this side is more like I can feel like a like a corner there where this is smoothed out so so yeah the only thing I really don't like is my nostrils and I knew I knew they would come out a bit uneven I just didn't think it would be this obvious like yeah that's how I feel so far I think it looks cute from the sides um I'm hoping that my nostrils might even out a bit with the swelling going down. So as you heal, the tip rotates a little bit down and the skin moves in a little bit more. So that'll stop it looking like so like upwards. But um, yeah, I'm pretty chill about it. I saw my surgeon for five minutes. He literally answered every single question I asked. I mean, it was really quick. Um, there wasn't much to talk about. I mean, I just got my cast redid when I went in. Okay, anyways. Okay, I'm going to talk about some things quickly. I'm going to talk about how to handle your hair and skin after your surgery. I'm going to talk about the cost of my surgery. I'm going to talk very, very briefly about my experience in the hospital. So, first with your hair, you don't want to get it tangled because if you're creating tension from your skin, it's going to, it's literally going to pull here and it's going to hurt. It's going to feel uncomfortable. So, don't get your hair tangled what you can do to prevent that is the intense muck repair treatment um, I just put it in my hair for five minutes and then I think I put in the tiniest bit of conditioner afterwards and my hair after like two hours was so soft and easy to brush and so I really like this stuff it's good and it's only like $20 and it lasts so long your skin is going to be so oily you're gonna have blackheads um, your pores are gonna be open 
you might even have dry patches so what you're going to have to do is after you get your cast off you're gonna have to use a chemical exfoliant so these are the products that I used and they worked so well I there was no way in hell like that I was gonna record my nose the way it was but this is it now and you might think some of you might think that that's not nice or whatever but it is beautiful compared to what it was so when I first got the cast off I washed my face with a very sensitive face wash I use this um, Dr. Dre used to use this. It's just the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. It has no like active chemicals. It pretty much has nothing that's going to annoy your skin. This made my skin so clean without stripping it. Um, it's really good and it's pretty clean. I mean, it's pretty, um, it's pretty cheap. I just don't think you need an exp expensive cleanser. I've gotten expensive cleansers in the past and albeit i liked them they aren't necessary like i'm here trying to buy myself a house one day hello after you wash your face at night time you're going to do an exfoli some sort of exfoliation now whatever i say um you're going to be able to get a version of it whether or not you're in australia or america but if in, you're in australia just get the brands i say because they are the best honestly so this is the reveal by synergy Oops. again i've put so many people onto this and every single time, all my friends end up having the nicest skin. This brand is the best. Okay, so the reveal has basically, um, it's a 13% AHA and a 2% BHA, which are basically just different chemical exfoliants. Puts a hold on like the oil production, which is what happens when you've got the cast on, you haven't washed your face, I think the oil is building up and then you've got old oil and then you've got sweat and yeah um and then vitamin c is really good for help healing the skin um i found that this worked so well you can do this once every second day or third day um and once a week you can do the vitamin c and the reveal together and it works as like a mini at home peel and it's so good it's just so good you can get some azelaic acid i use this one it's australian it's so good. This stuff used to be, um, you used to have to get this by going to a doctor, but um, I don't know, they just do it over the counter now, so it's great. This is a medicated lotion. It works with pimples and acne, blackheads, and rosacea. This is so gentle, even with me, with my, you know, my sensitive skin. Um, this has worked great for me, and I actually, I feel like when I put it on, I get less red here. Like, it it's really good. I was really scared to try it, but um, some people get like a breakout the first, first few weeks they use it. I got no breakout. I'm so happy with this and I feel like this did so much for my blackheads. Like this Um, studies have also shown that vitamin B, niacinamide, um, works really well with the azelaic acid. That's how I control the blackheads and I've seen videos of other people at one month and their blackheads have been so bad and I think just because I've been using this medicated lotion and these um, strong yet just gentle um, chemical exfoliants, it's just been healing up really well. If you're in America and maybe you can't get a hold of some of these things. Nobody loves the Bible more than I do. Nobody builds walls better than me. Nobody's better to people with disabilities than me. I know that. The Ordinary has an azelaic acid, um, and Paula's Choice has a 2% BHA acid, which is um, formulated with salicystic acid. And it's got green tea in it, which is actually really good for healing. So yeah, that's me going on about it. But I will list all these products down below. I um, 
bought all these products myself. I paid for my nose myself. There is nothing for me to gain by recommending any of the stuff. It's my genuine opinion and this stuff really works. Um, next, you want to be putting on sunscreen every single day. This has always been one that has worked for me. Uh, this one was recommended by my doctor when I got my under eye filler and her skin was pristine and she said she used this and this sunscreen has got so many awards, it's so underrated. Um, um, I mean, not really, really, really. it's one awards. Award. Um, but, so make sure you're putting on sunscreen and if you have your nose out into the open for the sun to see, you wanna put the sunscreen so gently here. Because when the sun is on a wound, um, it increases the likelihood of it scarring. So you want to protect it. Okie dokie. I just want to mention I'm not wearing any makeup in any of these videos except for the first ones. How much it costs. Everybody wants to know and I'm willing to spill the beans. <laughs> So there's different people you give your money to, which equivalates to the total cost. So my surgeon's fee was 9740 My anesthetist fee was 2200 and my hospital fee was 3000 So I had two hospitals to choose out of. One was 3000 and the other one was like $600 cheaper. And I decided to go with the $3,000 one. And for some reason, I think if I spend more money, then I'll get a better experience. But my hospital experience was actually not the most professional. I think I owe it to definitely the people in Brisbane who just want to find some information. So I'm going to make another video explaining my experience. I suggest even if you're not going to see the surgeon I'm seeing just to hear literally from arrival to hospital to me leaving the hospital what happened so you can prepare yourself mentally. I think it's there's going to be some useful information there so I definitely recommend checking that out. So, so far that is $15,090. Um, I got told that I was going to get a rebate of $1,064, but I actually ended up getting a rebate of about $1,300. So that was good. That was yummy to have that extra money. Now that we've said that, I'm sorry that went for so long. Um, I'm going to be doing updated videos. Tell me any questions you guys have. I'm happy to answer anything. There is one last thing that I want to do though before I leave. And that is, before I had my nose done, every single time I would drink a can of Coke, my nose would hit the can. And I found it so embarrassing. I'm going to go to the store right now, buy a can of Coke, and test this shit out. Let's do it. Worth it.